In this video, I will show you how to install Laravel 9 PHP 8.1 on Debian 11. To begin, we're going to install some tools and dependencies that are needed in order to get the series repository. And we need a series repository because that's where we're going to get the latest version of PHP. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install the series GPG key. And then I'm going to go ahead and add the repository to my sources list. And once I have all that done, I can go ahead and run sudo apt update to update my repositories. All right, now that I have that done, I'm going to go ahead and again, I'm going to copy and paste here because it's quite a bit of a package that we're installing. We're going to install PHP, Apache, and a bunch of PHP modules that are needed by Laravel. So I'm going to run this and I'm also going to add all of those commands in the description under the video so you have them easily available for you to just copy and paste. All right, now that everything got installed successfully, I'm gonna go ahead and download Composer Installer. And once I have it downloaded, I will go ahead and move the Composer far file into user local bin and I will also rename it so it's not called Composer far, but it's now called just Composer. And now that that's done, I can just go ahead and run the Composer global require Laravel installer command to download and install the Laravel installer. And once I have the Laravel installer installed on my computer, um, I'm going to go into my bash rc file and here in the bash rc file I'm going to quickly add the path to the uh, composer vendor bin folder to my system path. Now that I have that done I can go ahead and source the bash rc file to pick up the changes. There you go. And then we are almost ready to install our Laravel app now. So what I'm going to do is I will put it in var www. One thing you need to do here, change the www directory to uh, 777. So I'm going to do this and then www. And that needs to be run as a sudo. There you go. And now that this is done, I can go ahead and run Laravel new. And I'm going to call my app my app. I'm going to click enter and Laravel is going to run and it's going to get everything installed for us. All right, so the application is ready to build. The next thing what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to my browser and go to 192.168.0.220. And as you can see now, the default is the Apache's welcome page. So if I list the directory right now, we're serving this here, which, which is Apache's welcome page. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change Apache's vhost file to point to my app. So I'm not going to be adding new vhosts or anything. That's a topic of a different video. So I'm just going to change the default one instead of pointing to the Apache's default to point to my new app. So what I'm going to do is sudo nano etsy apache2 sites enabled and then the default and then here I'm going to go in and change the document root instead of pointing to HTML I'm going to point it to my app and then public. Okay I'm going to go ahead and save that and there's one more thing that you want to do is sudo apache2 en mode and we're going to enable the rewrite mode and then oops misspelled here there you go and then one more thing to do is sudo nano etsy patchy2 patch to conf and here we're going to search for allow override and i'm going to change allow override here to all now this is something that you want to do if you don't do that Later, um, you're going to have issues when trying to re to route between the different pages in your web application. So you do that and then the next thing you want to do is restart your Apache server. It has to be run as a sudo. There you go. Now that Apache is restarted, if you go ahead and refresh your page, you're most likely going to get a permission error here. That's because your web browser can't read your storage folder. So what you can do is go here, get it and change the permissions on it. So what I'm going to do is sudo r 775 paste this path to the storage folder. Oh, I forgot to put the command. So 
All right, there you go. That looks better now, right? If I run this and if I go back here and refresh and there you go, you have your first Laravel app up and running and you can go ahead and develop some wonderful apps with it. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. And if you liked it, click on the like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please follow me on my channel.